Recently, the NTSB recovered the wreckage of the main rotor system of the tourist helicopter that crashed into the Hudson River earlier in April this year. Now, this wreckage could obviously provide more clues as to the cause of this helicopter suddenly and violently disintegrating mid-flight on a typical day, on a typical flight, for a helicopter that's done this, you know, hundreds of times. And what I first noticed looking at the footage is that it's much worse than we initially thought. First of all, the main rotors are intact, except that they are broken. Uh, the blades are broken, but they're still intact. And the entire transmission was ripped from the fuselage, from the airframe. It's not that the linkages failed, the support linkages that I'd shown in a previous video that had failed in a previous accident due to, uh, due to fractures in the metal. But here, these linkages seem to be all intact. And the arms that hold the transmission are intact. It's like the entire assembly was ripped from the airframe. This means that the forces necessary to do that would have been incredibly large. And, um, you know, also, if you look at the footage, there are some slides and some video showing the, the tail section of the fuselage where the tail boom uh, was dislodged at a joint. So the sort of, uh, dismisses the theory that it would have been a boom strike. It looks like the tail dislodged at a place where it was bolted to the, to the frame. And the Bell 206L is a helicopter with a very good track record. It has a good safety record. It has flown for many decades. Uh, these, these are very sturdy helicopters. They are not fragile by any means, by any stretch of the imagination. And that this violent disintegration and flying apart of this helicopter, losing transmissions and tail booms mid-flight is an outlier. That's also an understatement. So at, as far as I'm concerned, um, I wouldn't dismiss any wild theory at this point because it, it, it is sinister what happened here. This is the, we don't have any record that I could find of a similar incident where this kind of helicopter disintegrates like this. Um, people have pointed out that even with the loss of a tail rotor in flight, you could still auto rotate and land this helicopter, assuming that you still have enough forward motion and airflow over the tail section. Basically, when the tail rotor fails, the tail would feather and keep the helicopter flying straight, even with the rotor, main rotor blades uh, turning assuming that you disengage the clutch fast enough and initiate it order rotation. And then the helicopter can be landed. Um, albeit may perhaps be a, a, a more of a crash controlled crash landing or something, but you could get down at least safely onto the ground. But for the whole thing to disintegrate like this and violently fly apart, with massive forces ripping off transmission, ripping off the tail boom section. Um, it, nothing is off the table. I would also say that I looked again at the video showing the uh, moment that the helicopter suddenly experienced something that made it swivel or yaw, to, and I said it yaw to the right. You look at the video, it certainly looks like it yaw to the right. However, it occurred to me that we might be also looking at an optical illusion that it may not have a yaw to the right. Maybe the yaw was a turn in a different direction because we are looking at a two dimensional video, very blurry video, very taken very far away by a CCTV camera. And it could have been that that yaw was not at all to the right. I'm not sure, but that it's, it's also possible. So, and um, I based a theory that the tail rotor failed first on the, on the presumption that the yaw was to the right, 
and then the tail section was removed or dislodged from the fuselage first. But none of, none of that um, is, there's no evidence for this. This is basically uh, speculation based on, you know, very, very uh, uh, it's questionable evidence. And so I would say this, this incident, there's some mystery to this. There's some sinister uh, questions here of what caused this helicopter to fly apart like this. And I would not put anything off the table. I would not put off the table also that um, perhaps there was some real problems with the with the airframe perhaps there was some real uh, failures that had not been noticed or maintenance issues but even wild theories uh, that perhaps there was sabotage involved or maybe um, explosives something exploded on the aircraft to cause this to happen none of that is off the table at this point for me because this is just one of those accidents that does not really make sense anymore. And uh, what do you think? Do you think that there is a simple explanation for this, for this helicopter to violently break apart like this? Um, if you know, if you have any ideas, put it in the comments. With, there's been some wonderful comments uh, and, and additions to th good good thinking by a lot of people in the previous videos. So I really appreciate your your inputs here um, <clears throat> but there are also more questions there are more questions that I have one of the things that really bothers me this year that's been bothering me is that it seems that every aviation incident is being reported in the main as main headlines in the news and there's been an emotional, very uh, dramatic twist to each one of those, to by the media. Also, that congressional, there's been congressional uh, inter intervention. And this started with, I think, more or less with the DCA incident with the Ronald Reagan at the Ronald Reagan Airport. But when was the last time we had an incident an aviation accident that congress got involved in this case it was ted cruz got involved the secretary of transportation got involved uh, donald trump was asked about it and got involved the the in this particular accident with this helicopter chuck schumer has made announcements and press releases and he's calling for the um, charter company to be shut down and so forth this as this accident is having industry-wide repercussions but am i imagining it or is there not an uptick in aviation incidents but an uptick in how it is being reported and that it is being that there is a spun put on these incidents making it more dramatic more emotional and it could it be a scare tactic for some purpose is there an agenda behind this that's a question i have for you the viewer is is it just me or do you also feel that um it's not that the incidents have increased it's that the the, the incidents are being reported more dramatically and more faithfully um, in the news to the point that you know people are worried about flying and it's 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 putting the aviation industry uh, it's based applying pressure to the aviation industry and scaring people so what do you think about that is that uh, is that just me or am i the am i not the only one who thinks that there is something going on and there's some kind of an agenda here and what could it be thanks for watching this is truth matters unplugged